it's a, um, just after 8, and I'm here with the bean soup. It still needs to thin a bit, but I'm going to turn it up and put the other cover back on it. That's covered again. Um, now I need to actually feed the sourdough. Mom mentioned pancakes, so I may end up making some pancakes with that. I just fed the starter and it definitely went down a considerable amount uh, when I stirred it down. It was definitely a happy bubbling starter. Not as much there as I thought but it should still be enough to do some pancakes with if mom wants. I can always add a little bit more flour and water if need be. But for now I'm just going to cover it back up the snoop smelling wonderful with that screen uh, so it can thin or thicken and go from there. I was just going through the computer looking at the different uh, sourdough recipes, bagel recipes that I found and I just jotted down the measurements for the uh, ingredients on this one that I chose to use. i um, not going to do it right now, uh, but it was kind of funny because it calls for an egg wash. Um, actually, most of the bagel recipes that I found called for an egg wash, um, an, or most of them actually called for an egg white wash, which is just egg whites and water whipped that you put over it. And some actually called for an egg wash, which is the whole egg. Um, but with the egg white wash, I was like, well, what do you do with your egg yolk? And then I was thinking about it and saying, well, here we are going to make a bagel. And that recipe actually says slice it and enjoy. And I can't think of anything better than slicing, toasting, putting mayo on, and a little bit of cheese. But that's just my thought. So I looked up mayonnaise, um, did some research on that. I'm going to go through my recipes and I may do a mayonnaise because it uses the egg yolk as an emulsifier to make the oil and the water bond together with out separating. Uh, just something I'm going to look into in the future. Mom has a sore throat this morning, and uh, she's diabetic, so she needs to eat. And I was, <clears throat> I offered to make her an egg, a steamed egg, and she actually has a poacher that uses these cups, and it over the water. I'm actually going to do an old-fashioned poached egg just in water. She likes steamed eggs so this will work well. Uh, she still has the onions that we did yesterday. I'm going to warm them a little bit and do her some eggs with those onions <clears throat> so that she can take her medicine this morning. I'm just going to wait for this to warm. Also just over here on the, on the back I've got some eggs to boil because I used the end yesterday of what mom had. She and I both had it for dinner. And when this gets boiling, we'll put the egg in. Oh, just a, I put a little bit of salt, just a sprinkle in the water for the eggs, uh, the boiled and this. We have really hard water and the salt helps make the water softer. And I didn't put enough in that it worried about any... Mom just said something what? Vinegar works too. She says vinegar works too, but it's different. Salt actually softens the water. Vinegar just keeps it from cleans the hard water marks. Um, I'm make, getting the water ready uh, to do the poached eggs. I call them boiled eggs without the shell. I've never actually done these in the water like this. Mom says that her grandma used to make two poached eggs every morning in water like this for her grandpa. 
Um, I'm making these for her, and I'm also going to do a couple for myself. Uh, we're going to warm up the onions to flavor it. Uh, I might have to do French onion soup one day. Uh, I really like onions. And like I said, the green onions, they may be healthier, but I just like a regular yellow onion. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, a lot of uses for it. This needs to boil. The water for the boiling eggs is actually bubbling pretty good. I have it a little bit higher. But glass top stove, not on high, just medium high. Uh, this one is getting closer. It's also medium high. The onion is just on medium low. Mom's talking, pardon. What? Oh, she's talking to herself. Um, we'll get back to this when it boils. We're almost where we need to be on the water. It's supposed to be a a rolling boil, but just a light rolling boil, not a hard rolling boil. <clears throat> um, the boiled eggs are just almost about the same stage as this. Uh, so they'll be ready to turn off and move off the heat and put the lid on and time it for 20 minutes. This should be uh, just very shortly here. Uh, where I'll be putting the eggs in. I've actually got a uh, squeegee to get the all the egg out of the bowl. <clears throat> uh, and we'll give that just a minute. They always say watch pot doesn't boil so we'll be back. I was just about to uh, start the camera. Well actually I had started the camera. Push the record button and I was just gonna say I'll turn it off or edit out whatever and batteries died so I had to run and grab some more batteries uh, I may be rushing this still but doing it anyway looks kind of pretty the egg as it forms I'm gonna add the other one Bella, hold on. Bella wants to go out. I'm just going to leave these. Watch them boil. That really does look cool how it kind of has a lacy look to the egg. I'm looking for tool to get the egg out. I'll be using this to get the egg out of the water when it's ready. The boiled eggs are almost ready to have the lid put off and be taken off the heat. I'm uh, getting the other two eggs uh, in the cups or the bowls to put them into the water. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to put the lid on my boiled eggs. <clears throat> they are definitely bubbling. Back over here to watch in the lace. Putting the lid on the boiled eggs, turning them off, moving them off the heat. Setting a timer for 20 minutes. And just watching this, these eggs cook, it does definitely look like lace. And they don't stick together as bad this way either. Oh, sorry. Putting the towel back on the handle there. I'm going to zoom back out. Uh, I've just moved the boiled eggs from the burner over to the keep warm. The keep warm isn't on. Oh yes, the onions are looking wonderful. 
these eggs should be nice. Uh... Oh, these two fry pans, Mom has them. Doesn't have lids for either of them. She uses these lids that were from something else. This one was probably from a canner. The one on the back. And this one, I don't know where it came from. I just want to kind of steam the top of that. Even though it's probably not... I don't know, maybe it should, maybe it shouldn't. It would probably cook without the lid, but I'm putting it on anyway. Or putting this... Nope, I'm not. It's going to boil over. Uh... I'm sure it'll cook without it. Just... I don't know, maybe we'll do this. See, the feature, the zoom feature is handy. Look at that. Just... Mmm, those onions look scrumptious. Zooming back out. Let's see how this... Uh... Yep, they're starting to hide the yolks a little bit. Well, that's cooking. I'm just going to stir the bean soup. Well, they're five minutes right now. There they are. Well, don't make them hard. Do you want it over the white? Well, where is it? The yolk, there's still not cooked over the yolk. Okay. You did it different. And Grandma, did, Grandma didn't put the lid on. She spooned the water over. Oh, I can do that. I did. I just barely put the lid on. Give me a sp spoon and I'll spoon the water over. It's boiling. And let's t here. Let me have that spoon so I can just test that egg yolk. That egg yolk is soft, so they're about done, really, for me. Okay, well, let me get keep spooning water over. It's not gonna change. Oh nope, it's not. If it didn't do it right away. It did. <clears throat> okay, well, she says they're done, so let's scoop them out. You, I didn't know you wanted toast. No, but... I'm not going to be able to swallow toast. Okay. There's one poached egg. Did you get it out with a There's slotted spoon? another poached egg. And let's get the remainder of this, the uh, white that was still in the pan. I'm going to add a little more water. What you're going to want to do is maybe dump that water. Okay, Mom says dump the water before I make mine. Uh, I don't see why. I think well, I can just... They done. They felt done on the spoon, but they're not. So make your water be boiling hotter. Well, she says they didn't work, so I'm going to... They're too soft. They're too soft of egg. I thought they'd take about seven minutes. Uh, she told me to turn it up. Well, you have to remember, my grandma was doing a wood-burning stove, too. Um, and in a black pan. She's... she's just telling me that her grandmother used a cast iron pan on a wood burning stove to make my grandpa's eggs, or her grandpa's eggs, my great grandpa's eggs. Uh, I did turn this up a little bit, got the boil going again. Before I do the other two, I'm going to add some water. Uh, just a kind of a footnote: these are just going to be a slow egg. Uh, but I was actually researching. I like eggs; they're a good protein, and they're they may have contain cholesterol but your body doesn't turn it into harmful cholesterol at least according to the latest report and there are ingredients in egg yolks that you cannot get anywhere else that are good for your brain um, but <clears throat> just a, an interesting footnote I was doing research on eggs and I went to incredibleedible.org or I don't know the egg foundation and uh, 
they actually said that it's almost impossible to get a hard-boiled egg above 10,000 feet because the elevation, uh, you don't, the boil isn't as good. Uh, it's hard to get a boil with the lower uh, atmospheric pressure at above 10,000 feet. So I guess you could get a soft-boiled egg, no matter how long you boiled it, if you're that high up. But this again, this is. We're boiling an egg without the shell, poaching egg. These have gone about seven minutes. I did take them out of the pan for close to a minute. I'm going to spoon water over them again. She said it was still soft, uh, the white around the yolk. It does have a lacy look, the way the white spreads out in the water. I don't know how you got that. My grandma's always... Just I guess I didn't have it hot enough. <clears throat> She's telling me I did it wrong, but... No, I'm not telling you you did it wrong. It just looks different than... That's okay. That's okay. Okay, we've definitely got a boil going now. I can't see one, but I can't see for sure, so I don't know. Really. I'm going to drain these off a little. There's Mom's eggs. I'm going to cook a couple for myself now. I'm going to add more water so I'll have to bring the heat back up. Well, i got to bring the water back up. Uh, it'll be a bit. We'll get back to it. Good. Good. Mom's not feeling well, and I'm actually going to force her to be uh, healthy. She says they taste yummy, but she's going to get something to go with them. She said she didn't want anything until she saw what I had for her. She'll eat that. Okay, I'm going to bring this to a better, higher boil, uh, just not a hard rolling boil, just a light rolling boil, just a little harder than what I had it at for the others. It's almost there, actually. We're having kiwi complaints. She says it's hard. No, it's hard for me to get it out. Oh, okay. <clears throat> this is real close. I decided to do some toast for mine and I put the toast in, it just popped up and the pan isn't even ready for the eggs to go in. Real close though, if this thing would actually keep a constant heat, it might be. It just came on and then went back off. Yes, I don't either. I'm beginning to dislike it the more and more I use it. Uh, usually you get used to a stove, I actually have gotten used to using electric, uh, even though I was taught with gas. But I'm get, having a real hard time with this induction or whatever they call these glass topped. Maybe I didn't have this hot enough or boiling hard enough because it's making lace like the other. Oh well, either way, mom says it tastes good. Mom's just saying you can't do much to wreck an egg, and I just disagreed with her. She said that it's hard to wreck the flavor, I guess. I don't know. That's going to be a challenge to see if I can think of a way to wreck an egg. Um, <clears throat> just going to let this cook and then we'll pull it off. Uh, my toast has already popped. I'm going to, I think, check it. Maybe put it. It's staying pretty warm. So. I didn't look at the time when I put these in and I should have. Uh, it's been a couple minutes. The boiled eggs have five minutes left. I'm gonna have to get some ice and some water and a bowl so I can cool them. But I think this will actually be ready first. At least this went down easy without hurting my throat. I'm saying the eggs went down easy, so that's a good thing. Uh, <clears throat> she has a sore throat has since yesterday. Uh, well I broke the yolk on that one and it's actually got a little bit of yellow in the foam there. I guess I'll have to try this again and make sure I've got a good rolling boil. Not a hard rolling, just a rolling boil. Maybe a hard rolling. And do this again. They're looking pretty good though. Uh, just Mom said when her grandma did it, it always immediately formed so maybe, so maybe maybe it just had to do with 
uh, the heat of the water. Oh, there is mine, and I did break the yoke in the one, but I'm not real concerned about that. I'm going to get the water out so I can chill the boiled eggs, do something with my toast, and I forgot the onion for mom. She said that she didn't want any because uh, <clears throat> didn't think it would go over right now with the way she's feeling. I'm going to put some like on, on mine. I need to get a utensil to do that with. I'm just going to use a squeegee here. I'm not going to eat them all because mom said she'd have some later. I'm just going to put those back there. I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper. This is some coarsely ground that mom's got here on the stove. And that'll be my breakfast. Thanks for watching. Perhaps cooking. Feel free to share. Give me a thumbs up or subscribe.